Hi guys, so I have some homework for you today. Page 837 and 838. I was trying to record it earlier, sorry, I started and my camera died. So, we are trying to figure out, we are, the table shows the measures you found in the activities, right? We didn't do the activities, we just were using the measurements they already told us. One pint is equal to two cups, one quart is equal to two pints, one gallon is equal to four quarts, so one quart, right, if one quart is equal to two pints and two, one pint is equal to two cups, so I know two pints, sorry, so I know one quart is equal to four cups, right, because two pints, one pint is two cups, so two pints is four cups, so one quart equals four cups. So how many quarts equal ten pints? So since two pints equals one quart, right, I have pints, and I'm going to go to quarts, which is bigger, right, pints are smaller, quarts are bigger, so I'm going to divide it, I'm going to say I have ten pints, I'm going to figure out how many quarts that is, I'll put two pints in each quart, so I'm dividing by two, so two divided by ten is five. Five times two is ten. I would subtract and get zero, right? Ten divided by two is five. So five quarts is equal to ten pints, right? They asked me how many quarts is ten pints. Ten pints is equal to five quarts. All right, so down below, I need to figure out how many cups there, how many pints there are in four cups, right? I have one pint is equal to two cups, so I'm going to take my four cups, and I'm going to divide it up by how many cups are in one pint. There's two in one pint. So four divided by two is two. So four cups is equal to two pints. So now I have to figure out how many quarts there are in a gallon. So I am going from smaller to bigger, so I'm going to divide. So if I have 16 quarts, I'm going to divide them up into gallons. I have four quarts in one gallon. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, right? 4 times 4 is 16. I would subtract and get 0. So 16 quarts is equal to 4 gallons. If I have smaller ones, I want to make them into the, I'm going to divide them up into the bigger ones. So if I have 8 quarts and I want to figure out how many pints I have, right? A quart is, a pint is, a pint is smaller than a quart. One quart is equal to two pints. So if I have eight quarts, if I have eight quarts, right, I have two pints in each quart. So I'm going to take my eight quarts and I'm going to multiply it times two pints in each quart and I will have 16. So 8 quarts is equal to 16 pints. So I have 7 pints, right? I want to figure out how many cups I have. So I know in one pint I have 2 cups. So if I have 7 pints, I have 2 cups in each pint. So I'm going to multiply times 2. I have 14 cups. So here I have five gallons. In one gallon, I have four quarts, right? So there's one quart in each, sorry, there's two pints in each quart. So if I have four quarts, I'm going to take four times two is equal to eight. So one gallon is equal to four quarts times two pints each is going to be eight pints. So one gallon is equal to eight pints. So if I have five gallons, I'm going to multiply my five gallons times my eight in each gallon. I have eight pints in each gallon. Eight times five is 40. So I'm going to have 40 pints in five gallons. So now I have 28 cups. I want to figure out how many quarts that is. So I'm going to take my 28 and divide it up by how many quarts are in one, how many cups are in one quart. 
So one quart is two pints. One pint is two cups. So two times two is four. So one quart is equal to four cups. So I'm going to divide by four. So 28 divided by 4 is? Seven, right? Seven times four is twenty-eight. I like to use my calendar to remember that one, right? There's seven days in the week. If I look at my calendar, I can see right they're right above each other. It'll be seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Right. Fill in the blank with the correct word to complete the sentence below. Blank is the measure of how much a container can hold. Capacity is the measure of how much a container can hold. Capacity. This is the measure of how much a container can hold. Right, on to the back. Pause it if you need to, right? You can always pause it if, you, if I'm going too fast for you. Sophie drank eight cups of water one day. How many pints of water did she drink? So if I have eight cups, I have two cups in each pint. So I'm going to take my eight and I'm going to divide it by two. So I'm going to have four because four times two is eight. I would subtract and get zero. So how many pints of water did she drink? Four pints. So a container holds 26 pints of water. Circle whether 26 pints is greater than, less than, or equal to 12 quarts. Right, so I need to figure out how many quarts I have in the pints or how many pints I have in the quarts. So let's do pints in our quart. So if I have 12 quarts, I'm going to multiply it. Right, I need to know how many pints are in one quart. There's two pints in one quart. So I'm going to take my 12 pint quarts and multiply it times two. And I figure I have 24 quarts of water. So circle whether 26 pints is greater than, less than, or equal to 12 quarts. 26 pints is greater than 12 quarts because 12 quarts is, sorry, I wrote that wrong. Pints. Hopefully you guys saw that and you're like, wait, wait, what? I'm confused because you should be confused because I messed up, right? I had 12 quarts and I multiplied two pints in each quart, so I have 24 pints. So, 24 pints is less than 26 pints. Sorry, I wrote up with this pen and now it seeps through onto the back. Coach Cole measured the capacity of his water cooler. His, wa his first measurement was 6 gallons. His second measurement was 25 quarts. Compare the two measurements used greater than, less than, or equal to to make a true statement. So he had six gallons. I want to figure out how many quarts. I know one quart, sorry, I know one gallon is four quarts. So if I have six gallons, I'm going to multiply it by four, and I'm going to say I would have 24 quarts. So six gallons is only 24 quarts. 25 quarts is more. So I'm going to say six gallons is less than 25 quarts. So I made a true statement using greater than, less than, or equal to, and my measurements that they gave me. So if you are measuring the amount of water evaporated from a swimming pool, would gallons or quarts give you a more precise measurement? I'm going to say a swimming pool is a lot of water. So I need the bigger measurement. I'm going to say gallons. I would use gallons 
to measure. I'm going to do a nice long sentence, sorry. And I'm going to use their stuff. They said the amount of water. evaporated from a swimming pool. I ran out of lines. Right, the evaporation is the water that leaves. Right, the water heats up in the pool and some of it leaves the pool. It goes up in the clouds and it comes back down as rain. Water evaporates all the time, right? That's how I lose water into the sky. It evaporates. It gets hot. The molecules, when they get hot, they get separate more. They're moving faster, and they rise up. Jason is a zookeeper and needs to fill a large tub of water for a zebra. Would it be faster to use a one-quart container or a one-gallon container? Right? If he's going to fill this bucket up, you can see it's six gallons of water. So he's going to use a gallon container. So would it be faster to use a one-quart container or a one-gallon container? Explain. I'm going to use explain and answer all at the same time. So I'm going to use his name this time. I'm going to say, Jason should use a, I'll just use the number one, one-gallon container. Period. The end. All right.